Hey everybody, Anomaly here. Welcome to another Quick Bites video. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. Rather than deep dive into a specific Mistweaver mechanic, we're gonna just give a little bit of a 9.2 Mistweaver primer. Basically, get you set up, get you off and running uh, to the races here with what you wanna select in 9.2. Um, quick disclaimer before we get into the video, this is really gonna be a very high level primer. I'm um, really meant to focus on folks either coming back to the class after a couple patches or somebody maybe brand new to healing and really just wants to get a jump start on the class. Um, so you, if you, you know, know, have a lot of knowledge about the class, have played really Mistweaver for more than two weeks, a lot of this information is going to be redundant. Um, you probably don't need to watch this video. However, I would suggest you at least watch the rest of it, boost my analytics a little bit, be slightly helpful. In any event, let's jump right into it. In terms of topics today, we're going to touch on a couple things. First up, talents, both Mythic Plus and Raid. Light variations between the two, generally going to be the same talents, but we'll cover those. We'll go over Covenants and Soulbinds, basically, what's your Covenants? which soulbind tree, some key um, conduits, and also just what a soulbind tree will end up looking like for you. We'll go over stats and gearing uh, with a focus primarily on uh, general stat priorities, but then for peace and legendaries. And then finally, um, sort of highlight some notable trinkets, things that you can focus farm if you'd like uh, as you begin your gearing up process. So easily first step, talents, uh, both Mythic Plus and Raid here. Take a minute, pause the video, look at it. Um, key differences, row 15, Mythic Plus, you're going to uh, lean more towards Mistrap in Raid, more towards Chi Burst. Um, you know, just keep that in mind, the slight difference there. Another difference is going to be on row 45. In Raid, you're going to focus on uh, refreshing Jade Win, um, just because a large amount of targets, nice, you know, boost, particularly with Four Piece, which we've talked about. Uh, and then finally, Invoke Chi G will be your Mythic Plus talent on that row. So other than that, the rest of the rows remain fairly common, fairly consistent. Um, but those are going to be sort of at least to get you started the uh through the trees for raid and mythic plus moving on to covenants and soul binds your covenant of choice is going to be vent theory you're going to start there um stick with vent theory you can move to the other ones but as a first shot start with vent theory it's the easiest of the four um your soul bind of choice is going to be theatar the mad duke uh theatar's tree is very solid um provides a lot of you know additional healing um and three potency slots which is nice uh, in terms of key conduits, um, sort of in order, imbued reflections, one when you want to get as soon as possible, boost it as high as possible. Then you have Rising Sun Revival and Resplendent Mist um, in terms of your potency conduits uh, and key ones you want to keep an eye out and sort of boost as fast as you can. And just a quick preview of the tree. Uh, tree is fairly straightforward, targeting potency and endurance conduit slots when we can. Um, key thing is uh, token um, is what you're going to want to target sort of in that middle row. The other ones, sort of as they split, really just sort of lean towards endurance or a potency slot if you can get it, uh, is going to be the goal here. Um, again, pause the video. You can look at this tree uh, and map it out from there. Next up is stats and gearing. Um, so stat priorities, fairly, fairly straightforward. Intellect or eye level is going to be sort of the thing you're going to shoot for for the majority uh, of your gearing up process. And you're going to want equal sort of balance out crit, haste, and verse. Um, all three stats are very solid in terms of any content you're going to do. A lot of folks will say to lean a little bit more heavy on the hay side, maybe more on the crit side. I'd say, you know, high side, a little piece that focus on those three stats is going to be really good from a gearing perspective. Mastery, um, you know, I wouldn't say flat out avoid it, but for the most part, you know, you want to take pieces that are more crit, haste, and verse. Heavy versus mastery heavy in pretty much any content. Um, cannot stress this enough, but as you begin to sort of hit your gear ceiling, um, have a lot of pieces of similar eye level. Use uh, QE Live or questionably epic.com backslash live to sort of input your gear uh, and figure out what you know of what you're available to you is going to be your best thing to equip. Next up on tier sets, um, really you're going to want to use any four pieces you equip. Um, basically, the goal here get four piece as soon as possible, equip it as soon as possible, regardless of the eye level of, of the actual set bonuses. So if you have primarily heroic gear, but you can make your four piece using an LFR piece or a normal piece, do it. Um, just equip four piece as fast as possible with whatever slots you have. Um, once you do have sort of all your tier set slots and you're able to activate it with any of the five, um, you really want to target shoulders, chest, gloves, and legs. Those are going to be your four best sort of slots. I'll talk about in a minute while you're sort of avoiding helm for now. Um, but those are going to be the, the four that you'll target in terms of final gear sets. But again, remember as you're leveling up, as you're gearing up, any four set or any four pieces from your tier set you want to equip. You know, so if that means helm, equip helm, run with it. In terms of legendaries, really easy for your first one. Ancient Teeth of the Monastery, craft it first, make it first, and you're going to make it on wrists as high of a level as possible. 
Um, pretty straightforward. Use it. You know, forget about it. Never, never unequip it. Basically, from a unity perspective, which is the second legendary we can equip now in 9.2, you're going to focus on either helm or ring. I'd say if you're gearing up and you want to save a little money, um, craft on ring. It avoids tier slots. It's the best, you know, non-tier slot um, piece you can craft it on. Um, so, you know, basically craft it there. You can leave it on ring forever. You don't need to move it around. However, once you get gear, once you're sort of more comfortable and you think you're going to play this back for longer, or you just have a lot of gold lying around, you want to spend some gold. Once you make four piece without helm, recraft unity on helm. It's your best slot. The helm slot, tons of stats, gains access to an extra stock it for free. Craft it there is sort of the final resting piece. But again, do not, do not break your four piece to do this. Only craft on helm once you have four piece from the other four slot. Cool. Now final up here, and we're going a little bit long, so sorry about that. Try to keep these under five minutes. We have key, or sorry, we have notable trinkets. Some of the key trinkets you're going to focus on are first out of dungeons. There's three here. Unbound changing for mists. Everybody wants it. Basically live in mists until you get this. Um, great trinket. Probably the best trinket all around that we can equip. Find it, use it, equip it, never unequip it. Next up is Soul Letting Ruby. It's lost a little bit of power in this patch, but it's still very, very good, very solid for us. It's got a theater of pain. Again, you know, of trinkets you can farm. You're going to want to hit Changeling first. Ruby, probably a close second, close third in that regard. <laughs> Finally, a new addition to sort of the, the old sort of double trouble of Unbound Changing and Soul Letting Ruby is Salia's Secret Technique out of Tazavesh. This is out of the Gambit side of Tazavesh. And uh, from a Mythic Plus perspective, um, very good trinket. Again, any of these three would be solid choices uh, in terms of things you're going to, want to target. So run these three dungeons as much as you can. As you're sort of gearing up, as you're playing, any three trinkets will be great. Out of the raid, there's really only one. The rest of the trinkets kind of suck, but it's Elegy of the Eternals from Prototype Pantheon. Very good trinket again. Um, you know, if you can get it as a, at a mythic level, awesome. But from a raid perspective, you know, this is going to be the one trinket you're going to focus on. Other than that, live in dungeons to finish it out. I do have one special mention trinket, um, and it's actually the alchemy trinket. So spiritual alchemy stone, which comes from alchemy. If you are just starting out, just gearing up, you have a little bit of extra money to spend or you want to spend, target alchemy, target the alchemy stone. It's an easy trinket. It's honestly like a top five, top six trinket anyway. Um, so it's something you can wear for a fair amount of time. Um, if you get it early and, and you don't want to worry about one trinket slot. So there you have it. Trinkets to target, farm them up do well. And that's it, guys. So thank you very much for watching my little primer, little quick guide. This is really meant to get you off and running in 9.2, not to be meant really thing any more in depth, just a quick little video to uh, to get you started. Um, if you do have any more in-depth questions, you know, there's other quick bite videos we have here on the channel, or of course, you can come by Pika Serenity Discord, ask your question there, or check out any of the numerous guides that are written, you know, either on Questionably Epic, Wowhead, Icy Veins, Peak itself, um, there's probably other things I'm forgetting, like I think Megaset's got, you know, Mythic Plus Dungeon Guide out there for you too. So check out all the resources. Most of it's linked in Peak. Come hang out, ask your questions, and thank you very much for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye.